Hi, welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we discussed about batch learning. In this video, we are going to see what is the online learning. So, online learning is a system in which we train the system incrementally by feeding the data instances sequentially either individually or a small group of called groups called as a mini batches. Okay, so simply it is called as a online learning. So that means you are trying the model incrementally with the help of a sequence of data is provided to the our model. Okay, it may be individually or a small group of a small groups. Simply it is called as a mini batches. So each learning step is is fast and cheap. So, the system can learn about new data on the fly as it arrives. So, here, so initially our, our model is our training, our algorithm is going to train based on the available data. So, based on that one, uh, based on that uh, available data, our machine learning is, machine learning model is going to train, then they are going to predict the, predict the model, per model okay. And also, you can evaluate the performance of the model. If the it gives the perfect results, then we are going to launch the model. Otherwise, we are going to um, evaluate our model performance and analyze the problem. And then, once again, it goes to training stage. Okay. If the model is going to give the perfect results, then we are going to launch the product. And uh, whenever we get the new data, so automatically our model is going to train simply it is called as a online learning so online learning is great for systems that receives a data as a continuous flow as a continuous flow like stock prices need to adapt to changes rapidly autonomously so for example here um, we are developing a model like a uh, prediction of a stock, stock price, prediction of a, prediction of stock price, particular stock price. So here is a continuous data, okay. So based on the available data, or we are going to uh, train our model, then we are evaluating the model, okay. After completion of, uh, after evaluation of model, we are going to launch our model. So, when, uh, whenever we are getting the new data, automatically it, our model is going to run. So, simply this type of uh, learning is called as a online learning. Okay. So, here it is also good op uh, option if you have limited computing resources. Once an online learning system has learned about the new data instances, it does not need them anymore. It does not need anymore. So we can discard them. This is can save the huge amount of space. So online learning system algorithm can also be used in a uh, train the systems on a large amount of data sets that cannot fit in the um, one machine's mem main memory. So simply this is called as a out of main uh, core learning. So the algorithm loads the part of data loads the Parts of the data runs a, a trapping a training step on the on the data, repeats the process, repeat the process until it runs on all the data. It runs on, on the all the data. So here you are studying a problem. For the problem, you are identifying some lots of data. Okay, the data is going to divide into different parts, different uh, uh, sub parts okay like it is called as a mini batches divided into different mini batches so based on the problem we are developing on a model okay this is called as a online model or our, um, our model so our model is going to train based on the available data one one batch of data then we are going to predict our model okay if the, it gives the uh, perfect results then we are going to stop the process um, uh, otherwise we are going to analyze the address Understand one second, update the problem. Okay, then this process continues until uh, it runs the all uh, it trends on the all the 
data. So this is called as a simply online learning data. So one important parameter of the online learning system is how fast they should adapt to the changing data. This is called as a learning data. If you set a huge uh, learning rate, huge high learning rate, then your system will rapidly adapt to the new data, but it will also tend to quickly forget the old data. If you set a low learning rate, the system will have more inertia, more inertia that is it will learn more slowly, but it will also be a, a less sensitive to nice data in the new data and uh, are to seek in self non representative to data points simply it is called as a outliers okay a big challenge with uh, online learning system is that if bad data is fed, uh, feeding to the system the system performance will gradually decline if it is a live system your clients will, will notice that type of errors so for example the bad data could become could come from the uh, a, a malfunctioning sensors on a robot or a, from the someone spamming the search engine to try to a rank high in the search results to reduce this type of risks you need to monitor your, your system closely and uh, promptly we switching the learning of if you detect a drop in the performance you may also want to monitor the input data and react to an abnormal data thank you thank you for watching the online learning system um, in the coming video we are going to see other type of machine learning system like instance based learning system and model based learning system thank you thank you for watching our channel thank you